Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thanks for joining me on another Friday night of matching jewelry bags. I hope you'll enjoy these. I put together, oh, I'm not gonna tell you, that way you can have some suspense. But let's get started, okay? I hope you all had a great week. And I should let you know how to purchase if you just send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the episode number, a brief description of the jewelry, the bag number, and the price, okay? Thanks a whole bunch. And as usual, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe at all. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate it so, so much. And click the bell so you'll be notified, okay? So thank you, and let's get started. And I should bring our new buster over here. I got a new buster. Here he is. Sometimes it's a bit slippery, but we'll see how it goes. So bag number one we did a long time ago, and it's called Blue Bayou. And it is really, really pretty. I'll show you the necklace first. Now, I don't think it's signed, but it's on a really nice... I'm already fixing my lights. A really nice gold tone chain. I love how they finished it right there. It's very good quality. I don't know the maker, but it's got these gorgeous rhinestones. They are green and clear and light blue. And the flowers are like a soft aqua enamel. And they come all the way around. I'll just get it fixed. There we go. So all the way around like this. And I love that light green rhinestone back there and that light blue one. Isn't that just so pretty with this aqua color? I'm really loving it. So that's the necklace. And it measures 20 inches fully extended. So you've got that. And these are pear shaped, by the way, the green ones, and the blue are round. Just looks like cute little leaves on there. And to go with that, I have this really cute bracelet in the same exact color. And it's got some, uh, the gold isn't all, all the way there, it's worn away, but it's down to a nice copper. So that's not too bad. So it's an oldie, but it's all prong set and the color is quite beautiful. And it's eight and a quarter. And I really like it with that. And then next I have these clip-ons that are, let me turn them the way that they would be worn. Let's see, they clip on your ears this way. Okay, like this. And they're a really nice match too. I love those. So they clip on like that. And then last but not least, I have a pair of rhinestone earrings, just simple rhinestones to kind of go with these around the middle. So I hope you love that set called Blue By You. I had it at 29 and I am gonna take it down. And by the way, the, the rest of the bags are all new. This is just a repeat right here. So I'll take this one down to 25. So Blue By You, you've got your clip-ons. You know, I always try to give you clip-ons and pierced if I can. Your pierced rhinestones this really cool bracelet and don't know who the maker is on this but it is so pretty show you the back looks very j crew doesn't it i never did um, a google search to see who the maker might be i just thought it was beautiful and i was happy to match it all up so there you go on bag number one blue bayou is 25. Okay, who have we got for bag number two? I'm trying to sneak on the side and then bring it around so you'll be a little bit suspenseful. This one is a multi-layer necklace with everybody's favorites. Paper clip chain. It's really a pretty one. Uh, no maker on this one too, but it has a little crystal on the end. And, oh, 
sorry. And the crystal is bezel set, which I love. A nice lobster claw. The chains are all gold tone. You've got, let me hold it the way that it would be, yeah, if it was clasped that way. So you have this lovely paperclip chain, this little bit bigger paperclip, and a regular chain. And this is how it comes out in the layers. The first layer has some little gold dots, and then this part has a really cute rhinestone here. I have it backwards, <laughs> okay. That's why it has a star with rhinestones inside. It has this rhinestone right here, and this is real rock crystal. So what you're seeing right there is not a crack. That is the, uh, what do they call those in a stone? Um, the, the variations in the stone. I can't think of the word right now, but isn't it really pretty? And look how it is all prong set. And it's prong set just around the edges, almost like a bezel prong set, so that you can get all the benefits out of that really cool crystal and be able to see it, I mean, on all sizes. And then we have what I think might be a Labradorite or a Moonstone, I'm not sure. Let's see if it flashes blue at all. It's a beautiful gray stone, does have some blue undertones. And the necklace measures, I have my note here. Bag number two is called Rocks and Stones. Whoops, got ahead of myself. Necklace measures 16 to 18. So it has a little extender on it. And this is how it looks when it's all hanging. So you've got multi layers all in the same necklace. You don't have to wear three. So this is, this is what happens when I clip it in this place, because if I clipped it right here, it would probably behave better. So let me just show you. It's getting lighter out later, and I like that. Really is fun, but it's making me put videos on later, which I really shouldn't do. So there it is. That's how it hangs in the layers, and it's just a really pretty piece. And then did I put it backwards? No, I didn't. Okay. That's how it looks. And I would like to show you on Miss Prissy. Oops, we got to get her to not have that reflection. So I want to show you the rock crystal. It should go right up there into the amethyst crystal area. Oops. Really slippery. There it goes. So that is genuine crystal rock. And this guy, let's see what he does. It is a stone, I will tell you that. It's not glass, but I'm not sure what kind of stone. So that's our three layer necklace. And to go with that, I have a couple of bangle bracelets. And I like that these are, one rhinestone is a little bigger than the other. It just gives it a little bit of variation. And they're both gold tone, but underneath this one seems to be more like silver tone prong sets and gold tone. So to me, it just gave a little bit of extra, a little bit of difference in the two of them, which I liked. And then I have these half hoop Super beautiful rhinestone earrings, and they are gold tone pierced. They give a lot of shimmer, very pretty. And I have a pair of rhinestone studs that are prong set and really, really pretty ones. They almost have a little tiny bit of silvery blue to them. Come on, foam, there we go. And they are pierced and they're brand new. So there you go. That's bag number two, rocks and stones. And you've got rock crystal and another stone there and a couple of bracelets. And I will say 24 on this set, okay? 
So there goes your bracelets. By the way, the bracelets are eight and the other one is eight and a half. Your pierced earrings, a second pair of pierced. Just couldn't find any clip-ons that would go with this nice minimal set. And your three layer gold tone necklace. So that's bag number two, rocks and stones for 24. Okay, bag number three. I need one of those buttons that has like a little drum roll or something. Oops, I wanna leave this tag on the necklace so that you all know what it is when you get it. Bag three is called Eternal Love. And it starts with this Oops, pretty necklace, and it has this hang tag, which I do not know what it is, but I'm going to give you a good look at it in case you know. It almost, oh, I have seen this before. It almost looks like a Q with a, like a little crown on it. It's really tough to know. Let me try to get it another way. I don't know. It looks like a bowling ball and a bowling pin. <laughs> I mean, don't know. If you know who that maker is, I'd love it if you shared it. Then we might know from here on in. But enough suspense. It's a beautiful silver tone chain. Get my little tag out of the way. And it has this absolutely stunning big crystal heart pendant. And it has a couple of that swoopy around there and that swoopy around there of all these beautiful rhinestones. Almost like an eternity thing. There's the back of it. And it's a really good size heart. And I have big hands, like I always say, but that's a pretty big pendant and it's just got some beautiful sparkle. I don't know what they did to make it, but it's pretty. So that's what we have for the necklace. And it measures 18 to 20 inches. And I'll just set it up there. And then to go with that, I have this bracelet that's just the same color purple. It is very sparkly, and you'd never know if I didn't tell you that this is acrylic. But it is. It's on a stretch, and it's excellent. I do love that with that. And it's just pretty. And the only other thing I could find were these purple earrings. They are prong set on silver tone, and they are just the same color. I tried silver tone earrings, silver tone clip-ons, but nothing just really went with it. And sometimes I have to leave a set right where it is because it's pretty enough. So this is set number three called Eternal Love with your bracelet that sits at... It's at a five and three quarters, but again, it's got a really good stretch on it. And these prong set rhinestone earrings in the purple, these are a pretty good size too. I mean, I don't want to take up too much time, but if you wanted to know the millimeters on these, they are, they're about an eight millimeter, which is a pretty good size. So I hope you love those. And oh my goodness, the chain is in great shape. We don't know the maker, but just look at that heart. So beautiful. So that's why I called it Eternal Love. Because of the eternity sort of looking ring and the heart. So that's bag number three. And I will say, we'll do 28 on that one, okay? Bag three is $28. So if you wanted one of the bags or two or three or however many, you just let me know the bag number and what's in it and the price and you'll be all set. And by the way, you don't have to wait to email me till the end of the video. If you wanna send me an email now on any of the sets, go right ahead. I don't mind, you don't have to wait till the end. I love to tell you all that because I think in the past, People might have waited till the end of the video and missed out on something, and I don't want you to miss out. So bag number four, I'm sorry about my four, is called New York, New York. And this is a really fun, multi-layer, chunky, 
It's got texture. It's got a little bit of everything. It's beautiful. There's your New York tag on sort of a darker silver tone chain. And look how many layers we have. We have pearls, we have popcorn chains, we have soft gold tone, black faceted. This is a really pretty piece. And it measures 20 to 22 inches. And let's give it a shake so you can see how it goes. Hey, my new buster is shedding some styrofoam underneath. So that's that piece. Let's see if I flip it around. Oh yeah, you can almost even do like a twisted look with it. So you have lots of different things going on. You have clear crackle beads, pearls, like a gunmetal faceted bead, black faceted, lots of texture and it's just so pretty. And I love this texture, really, really cute. So that's that beautiful necklace. And to go with that, I love this chunky, nice, heavy, solid metal vintage bracelet. It's a cuff bracelet. And I watched a show that said big, chunky cuff bracelets are in right now. Well, maybe, maybe not, but this is a nice one. I was going to measure it, but I already measured it. And it's seven inches. It does have some give a little bit, but it's a nice, chunky bracelet. So I hope you love that with it. I think the texture is great, almost like a rope texture. And then I have these long dangly, so cute, silver tone. They might be silver plated. Just really nice dangly earrings. And look at the top. Isn't that cool? I've never seen an earring like that at the top with that nice tall, part that holds the wire and then of course they clip close like this so just really cute substantial earrings for a substantial necklace for a substantial bracelet oh my gosh so pretty and then of course I had to match the beads on the necklace and I have these frosty silvery gold tone beads to go with these right here so there's your stud earrings so that's bag number four called New York, New York. And where's our bag? Here we go. First, I'll put in our nice chunky bracelet. There's the inside. Isn't that nice? It's good and thick. And it's a beauty. And then our little studs and these super cool earrings. And our 20 to 22 inch just lots of layers of love necklace by New York. So bag number four, New York, New York. I'm gonna price at 32. So let me know if you love that one. Bag number five, I've been waiting a long time to do this one because I think I had two other necklaces like this and maybe you'll remember or not, we'll see. But it is a beautiful, oh, you got to know the name first. Where's my tag? Here we go. Bag number five is called Lavender Lynx. Okay, so bag five, here we go. Bag five. The necklace has a gold tone barrel clasp, and it has these beautiful lavender color, three-dimensional cube links. The first one shiny, the second is frosty. And it has these really beautiful, shiny gold tone beads in between that just gives it a kick. So that's our necklace. And look how long it is, right? That's because there's two of them. So you can wear it as one very long necklace. And you can wear it at different lengths like this. There's a lot of options with this beautiful vintage baby. So you can wear it like that, or you can take these apart there's two clasps and you can just clasp them to themselves again and you've got two necklaces that will be the same size so i'll just put them as if i had unclasped them so there's two necklaces that can be clasped together 
and worn all different lengths or worn as two necklaces. Just love it. I love this piece. So I will put it this way like it's worn two different layers. And of course, you know I'm going to come out with something to clip on it. I have this lovely gold tone scarf clip. It's in great shape. And I'm going to clip it downward this way. So you can have a little extra gold on your necklace. And it does really bring out those little beads too. And then to go with that, I have this bracelet that is, I'm not sure who the maker is, but it's made of acrylic. It's got a marbly sort of white and purple and just a nice frosty little, almost like a belt buckle clasp on it. Isn't that pretty? Really a cute match. And it's seven inches on the bracelet. There we go. And then I have these incredible earrings. They are purple, marbly, acrylic, and they catch the light sometimes. Really cool. And they have that classic rope tone, rope, <laughs> rope design around the edge in gold tone. And they are very gold. I don't know why my lights are being silly, but that's the earrings. And then, I don't know why I have them on this paper, but I have these absolutely stunning enamel earrings with all of these rhinestones. They're purple and they're just really pretty. And they're very substantial and they're marked on the back, I think with two little circles, unless that's just how they constructed them. It's probably how they constructed them. But they're really pretty, pretty earrings and I love the match. So if you didn't want to go bold, you could just keep it lavender with those. And it's just so pretty. I like this set. So this is bag number five. And in goes your bracelet and your lovely earrings. Your other set of earrings, and they're both pierced this time. The scarf clip in gold tone. And your two necklaces, and they're both on the gold tone barrel clasps. And again, they can be worn really long. So the length on this can be 18 or 36, or anywhere in between. So there you go, I love that one. And that's bag number five called Lavender Lynx. And this one is going to be, we'll do this one for 32 as well. So I hope you love it. And I'm going to say goodbye to that beautiful necklace. I never actually wore it, but I just admired it. Bag number five, bag number six, I'm sorry, is called Betsy's Butterfly. Now, when I did a Google search on this necklace, it said it was a Betsy Johnson. And I looked at every detail of it, and it's exactly... But let me give you, let me show you this way first. It's on a really long silver tone chain. It's not, um, the clasp doesn't open. So maybe that's where there was a hang tag, I don't know. But the chain is lovely. And like I said, nice and long. And it comes to this beautiful butterfly. And when I Google search it, that's exactly the Betsy Johnson butterfly. I'm not going to say it's a Betsy Johnson because it's not signed on the back. And I think her pieces are signed on the... I don't know. Don't know. But this is it on the back. And that's the front. And it's loaded with beautiful rhinestones. This one... Let's see how I can point at it. Here we go. This one is like a teal color. This is a rich, like, citrine. Then you have a really pretty pink, a lighter citrine, a peridot color, a like a blue topaz. This is a ruby color. This is a light pink and the teal color again and a deep red stone up top. It's a beautiful butterfly necklace. And it measures 24 inches long. So remember there is no clasp, but it is very long. Just a stunner for sure. Let's get it right. Okay. Now this was tough to match because those are all, so many different colors there. 
and I didn't know which one to go with. So we'll see if you like what I did. So first I have these very colorful art glass earrings that have red, green, teal, lots of different colors, and even a pink sort of a shade. And when I hold them up to the necklace, to me, that's a pretty good match in the colors. So I hope you think so too. And I love that they're art glass with some foil inside. Those are really popular right now. So I hope you enjoy those. And then for the clip-ons, I really like these nice textured silver tone French knot. They're a sweet little clip-on with a, a nice new rubber stopper. There's the back. And I just love the texture of them with that butterfly. I thought it looked great and the silver tone matches great too. Then I have these two beautiful bracelets. One is in pink and one is in yellow. Rhinestone stretch but it's the kind of stretch that has the metal links in between too. So I thought that was very pretty with that butterfly. And then the bracelets, uh, they sit at six, but they have a good stretch. So if you wanna know how the stretch goes, see there's, well, they're sitting at like a six and a quarter and they can come down to an eight but probably very comfortably, seven and a quarter, etc. So, hope that helps. So for bag number six, Betsy's Butterfly, in goes two bracelets, your pierced art glass earrings, your pair of clip-on earrings. I'm so excited to give you clip-ons. And a 24 inch, really pretty chain butterfly necklace. And I do have a tag on it that says Betsy Johnson, only to remind me that it Google searched exactly as. So again, not saying it is, I don't know, but it's pretty. I'm just going by that it's beautiful. Bag number six, Betsy's Butterfly. And I'm gonna do this one for 42. So let me know if you love bag number six. Bag number seven is quite a stunner. This one took me a while to find all the pieces to it, but I'm so excited that I did. Now to start out, you need to know what it's called. Bag number seven is called Tigers Oh My. And to start, we have a, a much older tiger's eye necklace. And I always say that the tiger's eye on the older necklaces is absolutely stunning. And I really do think so. I'm not sure why it's not as beautiful nowadays, but this is a gorgeous piece, I think. It's on a silver tone clasp. I never did test the clasp. It's not marked sterling. It does not, it's not magnetic. I don't see a mark, but it is silver tone. We'll call it that. And it's just a nice, long, gorgeous tiger's eye bead necklace. Really pretty. And it measures 24 inches long. So that's pretty good for tiger's eye. And the vintage clasp. I'm going to flip it up this way just so we can get a nice look at it. And to go with that, I do have a tiger's eye bracelet. It is a little bit smaller in the beads. And it has this really cool pendant on it. It's a brassy sort of end caps on that major bead. And there's some hematite beads in between just at the front of the bracelet. So just a beautiful tiger's eye piece to go with it. It sits at six and three quarters, but the stretch is fabulous. So there's your bracelet. It's going to be slippery. Okay. And I have tiger's eye earrings. I've had these a long time. They are pierced. I have new backs on them. I'll show you the back. They are almost all the tiger's eye with the little post in them. And look at that flashing. These are beauties. I love how the shape of the stone is and how they cut the stone to just get that maximum flash out of it. So there you go, three pieces of tiger's eye. I think that's great, and I hope you love it. 
So bag seven, tiger's oh my. You've got your tiger's eye bracelet, your super nice earrings. And where's that little measure? It's hard on camera to get an idea how big or small something is. So I love this little tool. I'm getting used to it. It is 12 millimeters by Um, almost four, almost 15, 12 millimeters by 14. So they're a pretty good size. And then your tiger's eye necklace. Oh, it might be nice to measure these beads too, right? And they are 10 millimeter tiger's eye beads. The necklace moves really nicely. You can wrap it around and listen to that. So I'm hoping that you love that. I tried to put gold tone earrings with it. Just It just was perfect just like this. So bag number seven, Tigers, oh my. And this one is 65. It's a vintage Tiger's Eye necklace and a lot of stone. So I hope you love that one. And again, 24 inches on that necklace, really nice. Bag number eight. Bag number eight, all I could think of was peace and calm because that's what I feel when I look at it. So the necklace first is on a barrel clasp, which I'm going to do up right now. And I don't know what the stone is. I think it's called... Amazonite or something like that. Someone will let me know in the comments, I'm sure. Sorry that I forgot to put the clasp on, but it's on a silver tone barrel clasp and it's this beautiful turquoise color stone. It is hand knotted in between with a really pretty blue cording, which really adds to the beads. Can you see that? That blue cording in between. And look at the stone, it's just pretty. There's different variations in the colors and it's graduated. When you come down to the front, the beads are bigger and they get smaller in the back. So just gorgeous. I don't know what the stone is, but it is really got my heart. And all hand knotted again and it's 20 inches long. So there's the necklace. And I'm so excited about the bracelet. I don't know who this maker is, but it's in like the back of my mind somewhere. It's a gold tone bracelet, a wrap around. It has that maker's tag on both sides. It has malachite. It has rose quartz. It has faceted beads. These are acrylic and these are glass but the rest are stone. These are stone, these are stone. And the malachite, and it's really gorgeous. And look at it with that, I mean, wow. It's just perfect, I think. The bracelet sits at a seven and a half, but you've got all kinds of sizing in here. So I just love all that dangly and whoever the maker is, really pretty. And to go with that, I love these little hammered, textured, little um, pierced earrings and also these sort of teal aqua color vintage enamel and gold tone pierced earrings that's the back I just thought they really helped to match the greens in here with the blues and just brought all the colors together uh, also I have some notes saying that this might be an anthropology bracelet I'm not sure these are just some of my notes from when I did research and then I don't know why but I'm adding this pin I just think it's adorable it's so minimalist and it's just cute so I'm gonna add that little gold tone pin just for funsies it also does match the earrings doesn't it so I hope you love that one bag number eight so you see why I call it Peace and Calm? It's just got some beautiful colors. So there goes your bracelet. And one more time, I'll show you that design on the end. 
and your vintage enamel earrings, your cute little bar pin, another pair of pierced earrings, and the 20 inches of peace and calm. Graduated, hand knotted stone necklace. I hope you like that one. So there it is, bag number eight. And for this one, I don't know what to do because I don't know what that stone is and I don't know what that bracelet is. So why don't we just put this one at 48 and see how it goes. Bag number eight. Peace and calm for 48. I'll leave that little note in there too. Okay, I'm gonna take just a minute to remind you how to purchase the jewelry. If you're new to my channel, here's my email address. You can email me here at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and even screenshot this if you'd like to. So I just need the episode number, a brief description of the jewelry, the bag number, and the price. I don't need any timestamps today, and I don't need screenshots. So I hope that's really helpful and easy for you and that you will consider subscribing. Okay, so thank you for letting me show you that. Now, I have some jewelry from last week or a couple weeks ago. I don't remember, but I am going to show these again because so many times I might post a video on a weekend that maybe something else was going on and they just don't all get grabbed up. And it's funny because they'll either all sell or one weekend almost none of them will sell. And I really think it has to do with what's going on in the world and different things. So there's some leftover from the other day. And before I get started, I wanted to just talk about my, my coral ring. This is one of those real red coral undyed from Italy. It's quite beautiful. And I think this one is too. This is sterling silver. It's a Tibetan style. And then you've seen this one. And you've seen my squash blossom and my new buckle ring. I'm just loving that. You might notice my big beadball bracelet is off. And that's because it fell off and broke in the middle of the store the other day. It didn't break at the clasp. It didn't break at the safety chain. The chain in here just gave way. And I'm walking along with my carriage and I'm seeing these beautiful, like, I thought they were like ball bearings under my carriage and it was my bracelet, these giant, oh, it was awful. <laughs> so we're on the floor getting my beads together and so that's why you're not seeing my bracelet. But I think it's my fault because I wore it all the time. I wore it day, night, shower, everywhere I went. I never took it off and it probably needed to be taken off. So <laughs> when you love something, sometimes you love it a little too much. So this is bag number one. I don't want you to get confused, but I am going to leave the original numbers on them from a couple of weeks ago. And this is called Fans of Anne. And we started out with a, what is this? An Ann Taylor necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's the signature on this side. I'm going to go a little bit fast. So if you want to really see a lot of detail, you can go check out that video, and I'll try to leave the link in the description. But this is silver tone and gold tone. So that is silver tone. Try to get it at an angle where you can really see the colors. Silver tone, gold tone, gold tone on these ends. So in other words, it's all gold tone except these barrels. That's a good way to describe it. It's a big, chunky, never worn, absolutely stunning and Taylor necklace in the two tones. So I really love that necklace. And then with that, I have this gorgeous gold tone, nice chunky clamper, and it measures six and a half inches. And you're gonna have extra room because there's room in there. And it's also at an oval, which I hear makes it easier to wear. And also the necklace is 18 inches. And to go with that, I have these two-tone clip-ons. I like to hold them the way that they would go. And they have silver tone, and then they have gold tone on the crisscross. So I love those with the square shape. Then I have to turn them this way so you can see them. And I also have some pierced earrings. 
and silver tone and gold tone. And on these, I chose more of a silver tone than a gold tone. So I hope you like all of that mixed metal jewelry and that big, chunky vintage piece. And this one, too. So that is bag number one from a couple weeks ago, Fans of Anne. And I'm going to take it down to 42, okay? So Fans of Anne, if you liked it before, now it's at 42. And you've got all the matching pieces. And you know they match, which is nice. The gold tones match. There's a lot to doing this. You can't just put gold tone jewelry together. There's all kinds of different tones. So you've got it all matching already. And sometimes that's worth a little bit of something to know it matches. And I've taken it down to 42. So I hope you love that. Now, let's see, which one is next? Okay, yep, it would be this one. So the next bag number is not going to be in order because the bags in between sold. But this is bag number four, and it was called Golden Ruby, and I had it for $30, okay? And this is that really cool vintage style gold tone chain. It moves beautifully. It looks beautiful. It's 18 inches and it's a little bit richer gold tone than the Anne Klein was. And then on the necklace I put this gorgeous scarf clip with the ruby red stone on it. Just very gently clip it right there and look how it transforms that piece. Or you could put it, whoops, you could put it the other way as well. And if you don't want to put it on your chain, you can wear it as a scarf clip. So look at that. I like that better. So there you go with that one. Then I have a couple of nice textured gold tone bangles and one with a brushed gold tone to sort of bring up both textures on that. And they are eight inch bangles. And these really pretty little gold tone French knot earrings to go with it, the whole set. And that's it. There isn't two earrings on this set because, again, I just couldn't find red that would make it look any better than it does. So there you go. Your three bangles, your French knot gold tone earrings, your scarf clip with the ruby red rhinestone in there and this really lovely gold tone necklace. It's not been worn either. It's in perfect condition. And I had that set at $30 and I'm going to take it down to just $25. So if you love Golden Ruby, then it's now $25. The next set would be, yes, bag number six. Okay, now this, maybe I should have called it 6B or something, but I'm not going to worry about it. Get the necklace ready first, as I usually do. And first we have a beautiful Napier vintage necklace with a silver tone, sort of, I don't know what you'd call that. Maybe, um... I don't know, like an oval shape, and the gold tone chain runs across the front, and the rest of the chain is gold tone as well. Really good condition with the vintage hook on it, and the hook says Napier on it right there. So here's your gold tone, silver tone necklace. It measures, where's my tag? Oh, it's still in the bag. Bag 6 Napier. This was the one that I asked you all to help me name it. And you came up with some good names. Thanks. The necklace is 18 inches. I'm just going to hold it there because it's going to get slippery. And to go with that, I have a gold and silver tone bracelet. Gold tone is in the middle and silver tone is on the outside. And it has a fold over clasp. Really cute piece, and it's seven and a quarter on the bracelet. 
and then maybe it'll stay like that. Yay, it's staying. To go with that, I have these two-tone clip-ons. They are beautiful, very ropey, very, very uh, bright silver tone and rich gold tone. So it really pops. There's your clip-ons. And then I have these lovely earrings. Oh, you know what I think? These earrings are supposed to go in golden ruby. They have the red on them. Yes, I think so. So, er, back up a little. Thank you, everyone, because I don't do editing. I don't know how. And golden ruby comes with these gold tone earrings with that red stone on them. So there you go, back in your package. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how that got switched up. I wondered why there was three pairs of earrings. So here's a silver tone pair of earrings to go with this set. I like to do pierced and clip-ons and this thing is making me crazy. So just a square tone, square silver tone square shape to go with this set. And you've got your Napier necklace. Really great condition. And that's the back. Looks like it's never been worn at all. And we'll put that in. And your silver tone earrings that are pierced. Your silver and gold tone clips. Very substantial. And the bracelet. And that was bag number six called Napier for 32 and I'm gonna take it down to $28. I think the necklace alone is worth that. So I hope that's exciting and I hope you love it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go fast because I already showed several bags and these are just a reshow. So now number eight is called Beauty of Japan and I had this at 58. And that is because these Japan necklaces that are multi-strand sell for at least $48, um, $48 by themselves. So I still think that's a good price, but I'm going to lower it. So let's start with this beautiful Japan necklace with silver tone filigree end caps. And your necklace is marked Japan right there. And it has all these beautiful green and blue and soft tones of glass and clear glass beads in between and what i really find fascinating is that there's one red bead here one red bead here see how deep red it is and one at the bottom i love that so this is your japan multi-layer glass necklace perfect and I just went nuts over this Moon Glow bracelet. I still think it's fantastic. I mean, the whole bracelet is that beautiful Moon Glow. It is a thermoset bracelet. It is an older one, and it's in great, great condition. And it measures seven and a half. So there's your bracelet. And of course, you need some Japan earrings. So here's your Japan clip-on faux pearl and ab crystal earrings how classic does it get so they go this way and i love those with that i think they go really well with all those colors and a little bit of color with these lovely aqua green sort of bezel set glass earrings that are pierced i thought that was so pretty with that so we'll hang that on there. And the necklace is 15 inches, so I'm adding an extender. So you can extend it and wear it longer than 15. So in goes your, I think it's a five inch extender, your crystal bezel set earrings in a smoky blue, your true thermoset moon glow bracelet, signed Japan clip on earrings, and your signed Japan multi-layer beautiful piece and nice summer colors. So that is Beauty of Japan. I love that set. 
and again, I'm going to take this down to, we'll do 48, so it'll be like, like the price of just the necklace, but you'll have all those extra pieces. So bag number eight is now marked down to 48. That's a whole $10, so I hope that's great. And it'll be great for me too, so thank you for that. Next number, because they're not going to be in line, because the bag's in between sold, is bag number 11 called Napier Shimmer and Shine. Now on this set, we have this gorgeous Napier necklace, but this time it has more silver tone than gold, whereas the Anne Klein had more gold than silver. And this is just a slinky, beautiful rope design in between Napier necklace that's a total stunner. So there's your Napier. Let's see, you want to see it signed right there. And again, on my other video, on the first time I show them, I show them a lot longer than this, but I do want to kind of get going and get the video on. So there's your necklace. It is 15 inches, and I'm going to add another extender, 5-inch extender, so you'll get 15 to 20 inches on the necklace. And then I have this gold tone bracelet. It is just a basic gold link bracelet, a little shimmer for your wrist, but it's in perfect condition and I love it. And it measures six to seven and three quarters, anywhere in between. Your clip-on earrings are gold and silver tone. Hope you can see them. That is the silver tone side, that's the gold tone. And the silver tone is a very brushed soft color, which I love. So there's your two tone on the earrings. And I said this last time, I don't know why I love these earrings with this set. I just do. I just think they look great. So there's your gold tone pierced earrings and your multi-metal clip-on earrings, okay? So that's bag 11 called Napier Shimmer and Shine. There goes your extender, your clip-on earrings, your bracelet that can be very adjustable, your really pretty gold tone pierced earrings and this gorgeous Napier set. So I hope you love that piece. And we had this one at 32. So again, I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe it was maybe it was Mother's Day weekend. That could have been it. But anyway, I still have fun coming back on taking the prices down. And I'm going to take this one down to 29. So 11 Shimmer and Shine on the reshow is marked down to 29. Now bag 12 is called Did You Say Lisner? And I had this at 48. And this is that set of absolutely stunning faux pearls. And this is a Lisner necklace with a gorgeous gold tone hook on the end and it's signed right there. Nice big faux pearls that are in really excellent condition. They're not scratched, they're not worn, and it's a two layer, nice long necklace at 20 inches and then 24 inches. So just a beautiful vintage necklace for sure. And then to go with that, I have these stunning stunning clip-ons. The pearls match and they have gold tone filigree beads on the end and these are all the hand-sewn ones and they're hand-sewn into this little disc and that's the back. So I love that. Look how they match. Isn't that beautiful? And then I have these other classic pearl button earrings with the gold tone around the outside. And I have them in this because they're pierced and I don't want them to scratch the necklace. So there's the back. So you have clip-ons and pierced. And then I have this glass, nice quality faux pearl bracelet on the stretch, on excellent stretch. And it sits at six and three quarters, but again, it's a stretch. So this is our number 12. Did you say Lisner? Your pierced earrings. A very chunky, substantial cluster clip-on earrings. The bracelet and glass. And this incredible Lisner necklace. 
Lots of fun with that one. And you can put a scarf clip or something on those beads too. But this time I just had to leave it because I think they're gorgeous. Look at all that color and shimmer and shine. And so on the set of Lisner, I am going to leave it at 48. I really think it's worth that. And I think that some people just didn't see it last week. So bag number 12, did you say Lisner for 48? And bag 13 is called Stunning Silver. And what do I have on this one? I have this at 120. It had a very designer bracelet called Q Ray, and it has this one of a kind, unbelievable filigree necklace. So let's start with this oldie but goodie. It's a silver tone necklace. Let me just clip it somewhere along here. One of these one of these little loops. So I can get it on the buster. Okay, there we go. So, silver tone, and then it comes into these silver bead balls with the filigree end caps. And I can't explain the beads, but I think they're sort of molded inward and folded. They're just old and they're cool. And they're two different sizes. They go smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. And when the necklace is sitting on it's just, I'm speechless. It's beautiful. So that's an oldie but a goodie. You could layer that with lots of other ones. And this bracelet we figured out last week is signed inside Q Ray. And I showed you somewhere on this where the signature is. And I looked them up and they go pretty well. Oh, here it is on the end. So maybe you can just see it this way. So right inside there, it's signed Q Ray. And if you look them up, then they'll tell you all about them. But it's a beautiful cuff bracelet nonetheless. Nice, soft, rounded edges and that twisted cable look. Gorgeous. And that is at a size six. And it can be made bigger, but I would just do it with care, you know? And also with this, I'm adding an extender. The necklace is 17 inches, so I'm adding a three inch silver tone extender. And then I have these glass bead ball earrings on the lever backs because I thought the silver tone went really well and brought up that nice round shape on the bracelet and the necklace. And then I have these clip on silver tone earrings just a simple clip-on. Are these Monet's? Yes, they are Monet, signed right inside. So you have a pair of Monet clip-ons in silver tone. And I'm also adding this brooch. It's just a little brooch with a girl and the duck. And I just like the pewter color to it. And it is signed. I knew it was. So it has something on the front. Trademark. It says TM, either that's the signature or means trademark. But yeah, that's your brooch. Just thought it looked pretty with the set, that's all. So I love that. And this was bag 13, Stunning Silver. I had it at 120. And I am going to reluctantly, but sort of happily, take it down. And we'll do this one for, we'll say 85. And I hope you love that set. So let's put it all back in the bag, remind you what you get. You get this signed brooch, signed somewhere, I don't know, but it's a nice one. You get your Monet silver tone clip-ons, your Q Ray bracelet, the glass lever back earrings, an extender to wear your necklace longer, and this oldie beautiful filigree necklace. And that was bag 13 from the other week, and I've taken it down to 85, okay? So, not to confuse things too much, but there's one more bag, and I'm just gonna change the number on it now so that we don't get confused. And we'll settle that, won't we? So this is bag number 22, 
called Premiere Does It Again. And I just think this set is so pretty. I'm going to give it one more try and see if someone loves it like I do. And if not, that's okay. Sometimes people fall in love with things and other times it's just not their cup of tea. But this is a Premier Designs necklace. There's a little tag there. Silver tone, nice big links. And it's got soft lilac purple with an iridescence and these gorgeous silver tone links. It's got this soft green color. It's a long necklace. I'll just go right on and show you how it looks fully extended. Let's put this in the back. Put the chain in the center and it goes this long. So it measures 36 inches and it looks beautiful when it's doubled as well. You can wear it either way. But that is a Premier Designs. And I just love these seed bead purple earrings with this necklace. I think it brings out all the same colors, the purples, the greens, and they're just a great quality pair of pierced earrings. So love those with it. And this bracelet, the silver tone on a toggle clasp, six and three quarters on the bracelet measure. I'll just show you the beads. And it has purple iridescent faceted beads. Really cute. And last but not least, I love these round textured silver tone pierced earrings. And I, you know, I have them on the paper, but when they go on your ears, they will go, here you go. They will go just like that. So the striations or the stripes on them will be up and down but i love that is that so pretty and striking so that's bag number 22 premiere does it again and you've got pierced silver tone excellent condition really pretty shimmer for your wrist little bracelet your nice big glass earrings and that's the back by the way and Premier Designs, just a stunner. I did talk about how they did the chains last time. It's a beautiful piece. So there's your necklace. And I am going to price this one. I'm going to go from 28 and I'm going to price it to, we'll do 20 even, okay? So Premier Design, Premier does it again, bag 22. For $20. So that's it. Now I get to go make my thumbnail, take all the jewelry out of the bags again and get it all set for a pretty picture and remind you one last time how to purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the episode number, brief description, bag number, and the price, okay? So thank you so much for that. And I really hope you will not forget to subscribe and like. Click the like button on your way out if you did like the video. And you know I'll be looking for you in the comment section. I can't wait to say hi to you. And thank you so much for joining me. I love that you're here. And you know what I'm going to say. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.